God bless you. Amen. Now you may be seated in the presence of the living God. Amen. There is a revelation I want everybody to understand and I want everybody to know. There is something that we call near success syndrome. Someone say near success syndrome. You know, the name explains itself. I'm repeating again, near success syndrome. Do you understand? It's very simple. It's very simple. Near success syndrome. Near success syndrome. Who understands it? Who understands it? Near success syndrome. Near success syndrome. In fact, you said you understand it, right? You understand it. Just explain to us from your own words and see something about it. That's right. You are very near. Who again? Who again? Who again? Who understands? Praise the Lord. Who again? You are similar. When you are getting close to your destiny or any aspiration, when you are getting closer to it, certainly there is a blockage. Mm. You feel that you are down. Yeah. Okay. Good. Who again? I want the third person. Somebody from the choir. The choir people who like talking. Amen. So today the time has come. Ask the, hey, ask any of them. Call for the via fama fabu savior and send your pecas up. Amen. They say they can't heal. <laughs> when you are close to something, you are success, but you don't see it. That's right. Good. Uh, the man there need to Basically, um, it's the syndrome of being almost there. Almost there. Great. Everything you said is the truth. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. And also, near success syndrome is simply when you are close and the person that can help you to get there, they close their eyes on you. Is that okay? The reason why we're about to deal with this particular issue in the next 10 minutes is that you are ready to enter into your next level. But on your way to your next level, if you're not careful, you can be very close, but still not enter. And today we're about to break every obstacle. That makes sure that you get close, but you don't get it in Jesus' name. Amen. So let's read um, a scripture from the book of Acts chapter 3. Amen. Let's um, still sit down though. We're supposed to be on our feet for the reading of, our, of the word of God. But I want us to do something like a small Bible study for the next 10 minutes. You know, this scripture, many people have heard it before, but we're about to see something different about this scripture. It says one day. Somebody say one day. You know, I can use one day to preach for one hour. Somebody say one day. It means everybody, there will always be a one day for you. Your miracle will come on one day. Oh, am, oh, am, am I speaking to somebody? I, I believe that that's somebody your one day is to, oh, oh, I said your, your one day is, 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 is today. It says one day, Peter and John were going up to the temple at the time of prayer. So it means by revelation, any time you want to experience your one day also, your one day has a specific time. So, in the area of taking away the near success syndrome, you're supposed to ask God, God, when is my day? And number two, when is my time? In order for you to enjoy the grace of God to stop the near success syndrome, you're supposed to know your day and your time. So, one day, when Peter and John were going up at the temple of prayer, at the time of prayer, three in the afternoon, it happened 3 p.m. And let's see what happened. Now a man crippled from birth was carried to the temple gate called Beautiful. That's what I'm speaking about, near success syndrome. The crippled guy is by the gate. And the name of the gate is called Beautiful. Someone say Beautiful. So this guy is crippled. His condition is bad, but he's very close to a beautiful gate. What will you do? When your life does not reflect where you are. He is at the gate called beautiful, but he is struggling. Many people, you are close to great opportunities, but you are not enjoying it. 
So the guy is crippled by the gates. Crippled by the gates. Number two, the gate that is called beautiful, mind you, every gate leads into a new world. Every gate leads into a new world, new destiny, a new place. It's called beautiful. Why? Because the gate leads into the temple. So the name of the temple gate was called beautiful. Is that okay? So he's crippled at the gate. And everybody who come close to a gate, their assignment is to do what? Enter into the gate. But the guy has been carried. Put the scripture there for me from New Bible Studies. Look, look, look at it. Where he was put every day to beg from those going into the temple. So his friends and family has come to put him in front of that gate. But the moment the friends and the family put him by the gate, this is the issue and the situation that happens. The friends and the family enter into the gate, go into the temple, and leave him at the place. If you are not careful and you, do, you depend on people, they can only take you so close, but yet you'll be so far. Oh. Listen. If you, are, if you have been able to carry me, then carry me inside there. Get this revelation. Because if you were able to carry me from the house, and you were able to bring me by the temple, why don't you take me into the temple? It means some people can help you, and they can support you, but they don't want you to be at their level. So it's like they always want you to depend on them. Get, get this very well. So listen to me. Some, some of you, there, so long as some people were so nice to you, does not mean they want all the best for you. They want you to be best on a level, but not on their same level. But today, by the time they are aware, this next level, God will... Oh, oh, I said God will cause you to jump ahead of them. Tell your neighbor, say, enough is enough. Get this revelation. Get this revelation. He is at the gate called beautiful. His people carry him. So hear me. Let me give you this revelation. It means, so long as somebody was able to carry you, does not mean they want the best for you. One more time. Get a revelation. So long as someone was able to carry you, does not mean they want the best for you. They can carry you to a particular level. But for you to be on their level, Charlie, no. They always want you to depend on them. Because some people always want you to leave them so that they can feel needed. So long as you need them, they feel important. And listen, anybody that wants you to need them so that it can validate their importance. After this next level, they'll begin to wonder, you don't call me anymore. You don't come to my house anymore. You don't look for lift anymore. You tell them, hey, my level just got changed. Listen, listen. And the Bible says to beg, to, 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 to beg from those that were, that were entering. So every day he will be standing there. One of the prayer warriors helped me come and stand here and let's do illustration. So every day, <coughs> he'll be standing there. And when somebody is coming, Lala Sulala, they will give to him. Look at it. Oh. They will give to him. Then they will pass and enter into the temple. And he'll be standing there. So which means what they were giving to him was not doing anything for him. Yeah. What, because what if, if what they were giving to him was doing something good for him, he would have also been able to enter. So they were able to give him money. But on their next level, he was... Because this guy's next level is the temple, right? But they have given him money. But the money could not put him on the next level. Which means your next level is not about money you are receiving. Next level is about the power of God. If money can take you to your next level... The many people would have been at the next level. 
But you know something? When money comes on, when money comes on you, without the power, you lose the money. But when the power comes, the money will. Somebody, your account is about to change. Your level is about to change. Now hear me, hear me, hear me. The Bible says, the Bible says, continue. Let, let's verse, let's verse, let's verse. I have eight minutes to go. So right now, this guy is standing there. His family members, all of them would drop him and would leave him. And they would go into the temple and go and worship. And I believe that every day this guy would be asking, what at all did they do in the temple? So every day he was dreaming, having visions of the temple, but physically he was not there. Most of you, you've been dreaming and having vision and be imagining of your next level. But the Lord says, the vision and the dreaming ends today. Because from tomorrow, you are about to enter, you are about to get to that place, you are about to enjoy the same next level. And the, and, the, and, the, and the Bible says, and the Bible says, and the Bible says, when he saw John and Peter come, when he saw John and Peter about to enter, so John and Peter too, are about to enter. Mind you, this is the guy's next level. So John and Peter too, they are about to go. And the Bible says, he started asking them for money. So right now, this guy, his whole mindset has changed from entering into his next level, and right now his only mindset is that, give me money. It means, if life keeps you, keeps you at the same place for a long time, you even forget what you can make in life. If you keep on seeing failure, you begin to live a mediocre life. If you don't see success around you, you will think everything about your life is about failure. Because you, 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 you can't imagine yourself in a mansion. You can't imagine yourself in a place of elevation. Because when you, were, when you were growing up, all your aunties and your uncles and your grandparents you saw, none of them were able to make it. So right now, inside of you, you know that the only thing you can receive is to get money from people. But the Lord says, I have something better for you. The Lord says, what I have for you in this season is not about getting money from people, but it's about you entering. Listen, don't, don't just give me the money. Show me how to make the money. Don't just give me the idea. Show me how you got the idea. Don't just. But show me the source. Tell somebody, show me the source. Listen to me. If you are my friend and you are making it, and you can't tell me how you are making it, you are not my friend. I don't want you to come to me and give me money and put it in my pocket. No. Show me how to do the fishing. Because if you show me how to do the fishing, I will also do the fishing and support other people. From today, may God embrace you with great people, wonderful people that will shift you to your next level. Shout, I receive it. Now hear me, my last six minutes. And the Bible says, so he has seen John and Peter and he's about to ask them another two. La 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 number two. Ask them of money. Number four, he says, but Peter, I like Peter, look straight at the man. And John also look as straight at the man. And Peter said, look at us. So the man gave his attention, expecting to get something from them. The man gave his attention, expecting that, and that year, a real because every day, people give this guy 5 CD, 10 CD. And at that time, Peter and John, they were the great preachers at that time. So, and they were, and, and they were meeting TDJs. Ah, of, of a sign, $10,000 account, Amano. So, he's excited that good money is coming. So, expecting, uh, then Peter said, my brother, silver or gold, I do not have. Listen to me. It doesn't mean Peter was broke. Had a revelation. Peter was saying, What you need today is not silver and gold. What you need is the power. When that power comes on you, you don't need the silver and gold, but the power shall bring you. Many people are looking for silver and gold. The Lord says, You don't need silver and gold. You need just a next level. When the next level grace comes over your life, you don't need silver and gold. Get, get this, get this, five minutes, get, get this one. Silver or gold. I do not have. But now, so, 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 it means he was not broke. Because if you are broke, you don't have anything. 
but, 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 but Peter was trying to tell him, but we still have something. So he says, but what I have, I give you. So was he broke? No. He was showing him, I have something better than silver and gold. Because he says, sil- he says silver and gold, I don't have. But I have something better than silver and gold. And that is the power that can transform you from where you are to where you want to be. Somebody made that grace and that power. I said, may that grace and that power come over your head. <coughs> he says, what I have, in the name of Jesus, that's the power. The Bible says there's power in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. Peter was saying, your problem is not silver and gold. Your problem is walking. Do you know the reason? Andrew, if Peter and John had their own way, they could have carried the guy into the temple. But he was showing the, um, they were showing the guy, we don't want to spoon feed you. We want to give you the access to walk yourself. In other words, we want to show you how to do the fishing yourself. May God give you people that, oh. So he says, 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 no, 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 back, 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 a minute, a minute. Walk! Now, when they told him to walk, I told you the guy's mindset is always to die and grow. So look at what happened. He didn't want to walk. Look, look at it. Because he, listen to me, if, if you're not careful, you can be in a bad life and you will enjoy that bad life. Thinking the bad life is the best life. But there is another level. There's got to be more. There's got to be more. There's higher levels. There are three dimensions. And get on your next dimension. So, because he's comfortable on that level, when Peter said, in Jesus' name, walk, look at what the guy was doing. So, the guy was still sitting down there. Until Peter, because he's a crazy boy, Peter is crazy. Because he has a knife in his pocket that if you joke, you'll cut your ear. You understand? In the days of Jesus. So, he's a crazy guy. He says, this guy, you don't know who you have met today. This is a miracle by force. So look at it. So, so go, go down a bit. So you are Peter. So taking him, taking him by the right hand, Peter helped the guy up. And instantly, the man's feet and the ankles became strong. Oh, 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 oh. I, I, oh, oh, oh. Can you bless God for this word? Peter was saying, you think you are 419. I'm more 419 than you. He says, whether you like it or not, you do it. You will walk. Oh, 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 wait. I just got a revelation. Can I tell you? I want people like Peter in my life. That will, that will force me into my miracle. Oh, Jesus. May God give you those people that will force you into your next level by force. Say, Holy Ghost, in my next level. Let me meet my Peter. When you meet your Peter, your Peter is not comfortable to see you where you are. No! Your Peter will lift you. And now let's see my last two minutes. And I love the best place we're about to be. So when the ankles became strong, let's go. I like this place. What did he do? What did he do? What did he do? Tell your neighbor. Say my neighbor. After we help you, jump yourself. Listen to me. Don't wait for somebody to spoon feed you. All of you, there are some people, they will sit down every day waiting to get small change from people. Jump up yourself. Go and look for that job. When we pray for you for this next level, it's not for you to sit down and fold your arms and cross your legs and roll your eyes in the eye. No! Jump. Look for that job. Apply for that school. Apply for that postgraduate. Apply, apply, apply. Go ahead. Listen, you've been working the same place for a long time. You want your next level. The person by you, who is not even a Christian, has another certificate. But for you to be promoted, you also need another. Go and do another course at Gimpa. Tell your neighbor, jump yourself. 
Oh, I didn't, I didn't feel you. I didn't feel you. I didn't feel you. Say, jump yourself. You are a young girl at the age of marriage. You make yourself miserable. No, begin to put on your nice dress. Dump yourself. Why are you so miserable? Because the guy disappointed you. Because the guy broke your heart, you are sad. Hey, jump yourself. Put yourself together and say, hey, you disappointed me yesterday. But today, I've jumped myself. I'm moving forward. Listen to me. Your former boss sacked you. And so what? And so what? Go and register the business. Start the company. Start running the company. Go straight at the bank. Tell the bank, I have a business proposal. This is the money I need. God will touch them and they will give you that loan. And begin that business. Tell somebody, chop yourself. Listen to me. If you are waiting for somebody to move you, it will take a long time. Jump yourself. My last one minute. My last one minute. My last one minute. My last one minute. He jumped to his feet. After look at what happened. And he began to walk. Ah, Jesus. What he couldn't do. What he couldn't do. He met a Peter and John. Father, in our next level, give us a Peter and John. That will help us to get on our next level. And yes, so listen to me. He's not been on his next level, next level yet. We are about to see his next level. Mind you, why is the guy's next level in there? In there? His next level is to be in the temple, right? And the family members always keep him at the gate. And let's see the miracle of the next level. Somebody, this is going to be your story for good. Amen. Now, then he went with them into the temple court. Oh. Do you know the first question that, that will be asked? It will be asked by the people that brought him at the gate. Oh. They will begin to wonder, ah, we left this guy at the gate. What is he doing inside here? Listen to me. Some people will only drop you at the gate. And they will drop you at Kotoka and they will go to London. They come back and come and meet you at Kotoka. Come and pick them from today. By the time they come back at Kotoka, they, they will be calling your phone. Come and pick me. Come and pick me. Come and pick me. Come and pick me. But the way it will be bailing, it will be bailing. Ko, ko. It says, it says, ah, where are you? It says, don't you know that I'm on roaming? I'm on roaming. I'm on roaming. I'm working on a transaction in Dubai, in Miami. Somebody received a miracle. Where they left you, you are about to surprise them on your next level. Shout next level. Now, 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 I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Look at it. So, so he went with them. I like this guy. He was not only praising God. Though. Look at what he was, he was doing. He, he was <coughs> walking and. Oh, you don't get it. He was walking and. Okay, okay, pro, okay. Prophet Daniel, why did the Bible write in there he was walking and jumping? Because the Bible could have said he was praising God. The Bible showed us he was walking and jumping because what he couldn't do at first, he was doing before God and said, God, I couldn't do this by myself. But if I can do it, I want to praise you with what I couldn't do. Hey! Do you know the minute it means? You need to always praise God with what you couldn't do at first. So it means in this next level, if God gives you one million dollars, bless God with hundred thousand. It means in this next level, when people said you couldn't marry, bless God with your new ring because God is bringing the ring. Oh. Oh. Tell somebody, bless God with your miracle. Uh, and now I'm done. Look, um, look at it. Praising God. And I'm done. I'm done. Number nine. Number nine. Look, look at it. When all the people saw him and praising God. Tell somebody, all. Oh. oh, say all. Oh. Say all. Oh. oh, say all. Oh. Say all. Oh. Oh. Do you know something? Do, do you know the meaning for all? Do you know the meaning for all? Includes loved ones and haters. Somebody, this next level, all oh. your haters, your enemies, your friends, they will see. And when they saw, my last point, 
And last point, 10. When all the people saw him walking, I like this place. They recognized him as the same man. Be on your feet. Yeah, you can go. They recognized him, hear me, as the same man who used to sit begging at the temple gate called Beautiful. They were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened. They knew that it was the same man. Lift up your hand. Listen to me. We can't make noise about this next level for you to be just at the gates. We came to push you into your God. Lift up your right hand. It's only three prayers. Number one, God, the gate that I have been in front for a long time, by your grace, shift me from that gate and put me inside the building. Amen. Is that okay? Yes. Say by fire. By fire. Say by fire. By fire. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. In a position. In a position. In a place. In a place. In a location, in, in a location, location where I have been, where, where I, I have been, been in my life, in my life for a long time, for a, for a long, long time. time. Today, today, push me, push me, shift me, shift me inside, inside my purpose, my purpose, inside, inside my destiny, my destiny. Right now, right now, I move, I move by the grace, by the, grace, by the power of God. The power of as, God. I as I clap my hands, as I pray, as I, pray I, move, I move. Somebody move, somebody move, somebody move. Somebody, you are moving. You are moving. You are moving. Your last one, but one prayer. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name, the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Let that miracle. Let, let that miracle come my way. Come my way. Now hear this. The people that were always carrying this man, they've been carrying him for so many years. Am I saying the truth? That's right. You know, after after everything, you know that this guy, his age was around the age of 40 or something. 40 or 40 something. 40. It, it was uh, 40 something. Listen to me. They've been carrying him for a long time. But the people he needed was not the people that they were carrying him. The people he needed was Peter and John. So on your next level, 
you need the right people. This is your next prayer. Church, everybody, the only thing you need is the right people. Sure. Even president, for you to be a president, you need the right people. Sure. That's why when a president is being, is being even voted in, before they swear him in, he's already chosen his cabinet. Sure. Because you need the right people to work for. Lift up your hand. Everybody, you need the right people. Say in Jesus' name. Jesus', Jesus name. name. Listen, this ne next level program is carefully tailored by God for your destiny. Sure. For you, listen to me. I was I was telling the guys the other day that everybody, every everybody, anything you do every day is for your next level. Sure. You woke up today because of your next level. You are eating for next level of your health. Somebody is going to school for next level so that when they finish school, they will get a job. That's you right. are going to work next level for your finances. Every, every, everything, 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 you are driving for next level. Why are you driving? So that you can go to another place. That's right. Life is about next level. But how? To meet your John and your Peter. Say Jesus. Jesus! So, so, so do you know what, what this guy will say? He said, oh my God. So all my life, why didn't I meet Peter and John for all this long time? That would have been his story. Say Jesus. Jesus. Let me locate. Let, Let me, me locate. locate my Peter and John. My, my Peter, Peter and, and John. John. Now hear me. Now everybody hear me. It's not always easy, and it's not enough to locate your Peter and John. Sure. Can I tell you the next step? Let your Peter and John also locate you. That's right. Most of you, you have located your Peter and John already, but they have not located you. That's right. It means you have met somebody that you know that this one can help me. My chale, I'm going to say the truth. Yes. Say Jesus. Jesus. Let my Peter and John. Let my Peter and John locate me. Locate me. And let me locate. And let me locate my Peter and John. My Peter and John. As I pray. As I pray. Let the satellite of heaven. Let the satellite of heaven locate me. Locate me. And my Peter and John. My Peter and John. Somebody open your mouth. Pray. 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 Pray.
last prayer. Now everybody hear me. The, 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 the story ends in a good way. The Bible says, and he left there. His level changed. His location changed. That's right. Your last prayer. Father, where I was positioned in life, that was not part of my destiny. Let me move from that level. Amen. Say right now. Right, right now. now. Lord Jesus. Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Shift me. Shift me. From the wrong location. From the wrong location. To the good location. To the good location. Somebody pray. Bible says he was walking and he was walking and jumping. Are you sure? Yeah. He was walking and jumping. Okay. When you are climbing a staircase for you to get on the next level, what do you do? What do you do? Somebody jump to your next level. Get there, get there, get there. Jump there, get there. Say by fire. By fire. I jump. I jump to my next level. My next level. Say by fire. By fire. In this week. In this week. In this conference. In this conference. From Sunday. From Sunday. Monday. Monday. Tuesday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Thursday. Friday all night. Friday Sunday. All night. Sunday. Sunday. I jump. I jump. To my next level. To my next level. I jump. I jump. I jump. I jump. I jump. I jump. Listen to me. God will change your level for good. Amen. Listen to me. We are done with the prayers. What revelation had done on me was for us to pray for protection. Do you know the reason? Because when you get on your next level, it's not everybody that will be happy for you. That's right. Why am I saying this? The answer is in the test. It says, and all, they were watching. Okay? Prophet Daniel, all, what is all? Those who didn't like him, plus those who like him, all. So if God elevates you to your next level, listen to me. If I'm standing here, many people cannot see me because I'm very short, right? When I jump on this stage, everybody will see me, right? Anytime you go on your next level, all I see you. But, 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 but my question for you is, the, 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 the word E-L-L, -L, all. Are, are they all for you? Are they all for you? You're about to pray for security. Amen. Right? Say by fire. By fire. I remember um, we were having a conference in our church in London. Prophet Samson was there. Went to a particular lady and went to the lady and said, Lady, the person stopping you from your next level, if the person dies, will you be happy? She said, Jesus' name. Amen. Prophet Samson said, Are you sure? She said, Yes. Prophet Samson said, Are you sure? She said, Yes. He said, But I, I, I'm, I'm sorry to announce to you that. Your father is an occultic man. And um, all your problems, you've been in London for 25 years, nothing has moved in your life. The lady was crying. Your father is a big occult. So that's the issue. Your father has made a vow, not until he dies. You and your sisters, nobody will marry. All of them are over 40 years, nobody has married. So right now, it has become better sweet. Since your father is a dangerous occult, he has finished you people. Something said, so make, make, make the decision. He said, Prophet, if I can get to my next level, it's not easy to be a prophet, you know. Prayed for her, did some directions. The next day, what she called? He said, The father was at home in Sierra Leone. 
the father collapsed and died. When the father died, they went to the room. They never knew that the father was so cross. They went to take one pause. And in the pause, there was blood in it. And all the sisters, which is the lady's sisters, the man's children, all of them, their photos was inside that pause. And in the pot, there were rings inside. Do you know the meaning? They have been captured. Prayed on. Do you know that after that, their lives have changed? And even one of the sisters have got a job at the United Nations. So hear me, so hear me, hear me, so hear me. This week, this week is going to be crazy. Professor something I've come here before. You saw how he ministers. It's very crazy. It's going to be amazing. Let's pray about all. Somebody say all. All. See, Jesus. Jesus. On my next level. On my next level. Protect me. Protect, protect me. With your protection. With your protection. Your blood. Your blood. Somebody pray. 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 Somebody pray.
King God. Your, Your name, name is, is Yahweh. 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 Your name is Yahweh. 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 You're seen in the in the in the bowl. The Lord whispered unto me and listened unto me. Now this lady, whatever she's doing, you know when I was preaching, I got to a point and I said, jump on your feet. And the place of the jumping on your feet, when we were praying, the Lord said, Sister, your time of elevation has come. But I don't know, but you need to write. When I say writing, you need to upgrade another course. Go to school. Because your season has come. And an angel has shifted you to that place. And if I be a prophet of God, follow this direction. And sister, you will thank me in the next seven months. Clap your hands to the name of the Lord. Your name is Yahweh. Miracle working God, your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Miracle working God, your name is Yahweh. Destiny says, Destiny. Daddy, give me your hand. I want to ask you one question. What is um, today is when? Today is Saturday. What day were you born? You were born on Saturday. Come. In the spiritual realm, the Lord opened my eye and the Lord says today, this man's destiny is going to be unveiled. Amen. I saw myself on the Saturday that this man was born. And the, and the Saturday this man was born, the month I saw, I don't know this man's month, but the month I saw was in the month of February. Were you born in February? Clap your hands to the name of the Lord. But that day this man was born. You know, you know, in February time it doesn't rain. But unfortunately, unfortunately, whatever, the February this man was born, it was raining. But the raining that came on that day was not for a good purpose. It was to attack and sabotage this man's greatness. But the Lord says you should reverse it. For something unique to happen. I've seen the day this man was born. Ah. Wow. I see myself in the year of 1936. 1936. 22nd February 1936. Can you bless the name of the Lord? Oh, can you bless? On that day, it rained. Somebody be on your feet. Be on your feet. We need to reverse. Look at the man. He's dancing. Oh. 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 Let's do this prayer for the man. Stretch your hands. Because his destiny has been sabotaged. Wow. Which means you are, you are 82 years. 82 years. Lift up your hand. Say by fire. You look like 61. Lift up your hands. Say by fire. Am I saying the truth? Lift up your hands. Because the Lord says this man's assignment and purpose in life is not ended yet. The man is supposed to move forward. Amen. He's supposed to move forward. And there, there has been a lot of issues. But God is going to settle them one by one today. Amen. Say right now. Right, right now. now. We go back. We, we go, go back, back to 1936. To 1936. Whatever was exchanged. Whatever was exchanged. And was taken away. And was taken away. By the fire of God. By the fire of God. Today. Today. By the anointing. By the anointing. We give it to him. We, we give, give it to him. him. Back. Back. Clap and pray. 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 
Somebody pray, pray, pray for him. Do you, do you know something? I just heard something in my spirit. The Lord says, as the man is 82 years, we should use him as a point of contact for something. If you are here and in your family, people don't live very long. Old, come. And let's enforce long life for your family right now. Come, come, come. There is something premature that works over there. Come right now. God, the Lord says, the oil for long life has dropped right now. Come. Listen to me. You are going to become a record breaker. Oh, look at you. I said you are going to become a record breaker. Your family is going to break some records because of you. Lift up your hand. Say, let that oil, let that oil. for long life. Say, let that oil, let that oil for long life. For long life. Ah, Father, give you praise. I said, let that oil, let that oil for long life. For long life. Man, the reason why God has brought this long life to you is that years ago, most of your family members, they were pastors, they served God, and that oil is still there. I saw a Lote family. A Lote family. What's your name? I'm a Lote. Clap your hands to the name of the Lord. So the Lord says, it's a generational blessing. We are about to pray right now that your family may they be generational blessing. Yes. Clap your hands and pray. Clap your hands and pray. Jesus. Jesus. Oh, 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 oh. Somebody pray. Are working for my good. It's intentional. It's intentional. Hey, and it never fails. It never, never fails. Oh. Father, let your grace and your glory fall. Now, pass it around. Let everybody dip your hand in. Let's sing. And it never fails. Dip your hands in, but don't sit down. Dip your hands in and put your hand on your forehead. Long life. Long life, long life, long life. Hey. Let's go. Oh, 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 sing another sing. Oh, 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 it's intentional. It's intentional. Hey! And he never fails. Never fails. All things are working for my good. All things are working for my Father, I thank you for what you just revealed to me. That long life has been superimposed onto the lives of your people. Let them live long. Let their family records be chained Amen. in this moment. Amen. Father, on our next level, let us enjoy your greatness. Amen. Let us enjoy your power. Amen. Let us enjoy what you have said about us. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, give you praise. Amen. Amen. You are free. You can go and sit down. Everybody, go and sit down. Clap your hands to the name of the Lord. You may be seated. Clap your hands. Oh, clap your hands to the name of the Lord. Somebody shout, long life. Long life. Listen to me. Today, I keep on seeing generational blessings. Generational blessings. You've been good to people. You've been very good to people. You have helped so many people. How, how, how do I know this? By revelation. <laughs> By revelation. You have helped so many people. People that were not your own. 
And the Lord says, you have, it is an altar you have built for the generation to come. Your generation coming will never lack. Your children, 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 children will never lack in life. For what you were supposed to have eaten, you took it out of your mouth and you gave it out. For you to starve for others to enjoy. And the Lord says, you didn't just do that, but you did that for the generation to come. You have built an altar and I pray that God will keep you. God will sustain you. Your family is free. Your family is delivered. In the name of Jesus. Now I pray for your family. I cancel any form of surgical operations. I come against every surgery, sickness, attacks. I reverse it. Let the angels of God be on assignment. Father, I thank you. In Jesus' name. The year 1978 was a very challenging year for you. But God came through for you. 1978. I'm talking around April 78. Around 17th April 1978. Clap your hands to the name of the Lord. The Lord says, His goodness, His power preserved and protected Him. Somebody begin to wave your hands. It's working for me. It's working for me. Let's go. Let's go. It's working for me. Let's go. Let's go. Sing no loud or sing. I don't have to worry about it. It's working for me. Hey. It's, it's working, working for me. me. I believe it's working for me. I don't have to worry. I don't have to say. I don't have to worry about it. It's working for me. Hey. It's working for me. I believe it's working for me. Oh, 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 sing the loud or sing. Give me a chair and let the woman sit on the chair. Give me a chair. Everybody listen to me. This next level, tomorrow is 8 a.m. It's Sunday service. We are not having evening service tomorrow. But Monday to the other days, morning and what? Evening session. Tell your neighbor, come early. Monday to the Friday morning session, 8. 11.30, we are done. 5.30 p.m., we begin. Make sure you come early. Make sure you come and tell your neighbor, come early. Listen to me. Today, everybody, listen to me. Everybody, if you don't have the t-shirt, we need to finish the t-shirt. Is that okay? I didn't feel you. I said, we need to do what? We need to do what? Man, what do you do? When I tell you a day is coming that God will let you set your own, will you believe me? Will, will you believe me? A day is coming that God will let you set up your own. Will you believe what I'm saying? I'm starting a foundation, God willing, this week. You are starting a foundation this week. Oh my God. Say, you, you lay. Oh, can you clap your hands? <laughs> tell somebody, God is real. Oh, I tell somebody, God is real. God is real. Listen, the reason why people doubt prophetic is because they've got bad experience. 
but if you get the good experience when somebody is talking about prophetic you tell them that no god is real i don't know this man from adam or eve and the reason why i asked him where do you work and i told him that you're going to start your own with that i saw him sitting down spiritually on a particular chair and the chair he was sitting on he was very comfortable but an angel moving from the chair and put him on another one so when he was the time he was moving from that chair he didn't feel comfortable but the new chair the angel had for him was bigger than the old one and the lord says where he's working god says he should start his own because his time has come and he confirms and says he's starting his own when next week oh my god i prophesy you too you too oh i said i, I prophesy i said you too you too you too you are about to begin you are about to begin you are about to begin may you begin what you couldn't do may you start what you couldn't do let god remember you shout i will begin i will begin is there anybody that wants to start your own business or something you want to start your own be on your feet for me be on your feet for me be on your feet for me you know that's how prophetic ministry works when a word comes it, it doesn't come for one person it comes for all so you tap into it then you also enjoy become a partaker say i tap into it i tap into it say i do the same i do the same say, i enjoy the same i enjoy the same by fire by fire is that what you want to venture into you are, you are spoken right when when do you want to start it wonderful so you want it for the next level you want it on the next level it will be great do you know something is it only the catering or you have restaurant in it because you need to start a restaurant that's what the lord is telling me so is it only the catering you are doing talk speak i want it to be a big restaurant and okay so you you already have the restaurant the catering okay. just a joint you need to have a restaurant. Is this something you've been thinking about, praying about, working towards? I've been praying things are rough right now. But things are rough right now. Don't worry. Listen to me. When the prophet speaks, it's God speaking to the prophet. Sister, you own one of the biggest restaurants in Ghana. Those who didn't clap, I know why. You are jealous. I said this lady will own one of the biggest restaurants in Ghana. Because I saw a, a big place and people were trooping and listen to me it's not like you are just starting a restaurant you are starting a restaurant that will be busy listen i said it will be busy now all of you lift up your twins father let this grace locate them let this grace locate them let it locate them shout and receive it, receive it. by fire by fire it is done sit down my brother take your shoe off and walk in the in the temple walk in the temple as the guy walk in the temple Walk in the temple. Walk in there. Walk in there. The guy's foundation is going to start. I saw donors, international donors, from Israel, Netherlands, USA, from Asia, from, from Arabic countries. That will be sending, giving him millions of dollars for the job that he'll be doing and working with. Oh my God. And hear me, out of that, the Lord says he will be recognized by the United Nations. I said he will be recognized. Oh, give me the oil. The Lord says he will be recognized by the United Nations. Listen, you will, you will begin to ask yourself, how did they hear about my foundation? The Lord says he himself will advertise for you. As, found as some foundations have to write letters and look for sponsorships, the Lord says you will not be looking for it will be coming for you. Oh, can you bless his holy name? Father, this is what you told me. Father, you have never lied before. God, you can't, you can't, you, you can't lie. When we even describe you that you can't even lie, it's still mediocre. You can't, no. Father, 
you can't. Do you know that you can't even describe God that he can't lie? When you even describe him that he can't lie, it's still mediocre describing him. So, so, so you have to say he's too faithful. One great Asian father of the faith by the name of St. Gregory of Nisan, he says, you can never define God. He says he's so big that you cannot un- define him. And any time you try to define him, your definition becomes mediocre. You can't define God. God is beyond definition. Father, remember him. This young man will be great. He will be great. He will be very great. Amen. Father, let it happen. Amen. And Father, give him the power, the strength, and the grace. May God take the wrong people from your life. Wrong people that always lie to you. Let them leave. Let them move away. May you go and succeed. And may you go and become great. In Jesus' name. Clap your hands to the name of the Lord. Clap your hands. We have just five minutes to go home. Lady, come. The lady will hide. Come, wait. Come and let me pray for you. Come. Sister, auntie, mama. The reason why I made you to sit down for a while is that we are come to pray for you, okay? And while she was sitting down there, the angels were working on you. Okay? Angels were working on you. We are about to stretch forth our hands to pray for this lady. That, listen to me, in this stretcher, do you know stretcher? Hospital stretcher. That is waiting for her. Let's cancel that stretcher. Say by fire. By fire. In this stretcher. In this stretcher. Say in this stretcher. In this stretcher. That is waiting for her. That is waiting for her. We cancel it. We cancel it. Clap your hands and Someone say away. Away. Someone say nobody will rush her to the hospital. Nobody will rush her to the hospital. It's not your portion. It's not your portion. Amen. You are covered, okay? Free. Amen. Nothing can attack your health. Amen. Your health is secured. Amen. Your health is secured. Amen. Your health is preserved. Amen. No sickness can penetrate those four corners we have made in the supernatural. Amen. May this become a hedge fence of protection. Amen. Let the angels be positioned around you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Anybody that has a bullet gun that is shooting her. But the bullet is not really shooting, it's sickness shooting. We reverse it. Amen. We return to sender. Amen. It will never be your portion. Let God have mercy on you. Amen. In Jesus' name. You are free. You will take mango. You know mango? Bring it and you throw on it for me. And you eat the mango. That will be the end of every crisis. Amen. And the other things we are going through, but the Lord says, I shouldn't, start, I shouldn't touch it. I should touch on what you don't know. And that's what we are going through. Go. The things you are going through that I'm supposed to talk about, the Lord said, that's not what I talk about. But what has been hidden is what God used me to say to you. Go. God bless you. Because when I say I want to begin prophesying to her, I will go on, go on, go on. There's an issue going on in the family right now. There's a battle, but that's not the issue. Your issue is what the Lord said. We have dealt it for you. Go. You are free. Clap your hands to the name of the Lord. Can you, can you bless his holy name? Now everybody open your two hands like you're receiving something. Open your two hands. Open your hands. Listen to me. You don't come to God and go the same. No, no, it's an error. It's a fall. No, you need to always receive from him. You come and give your praise and your worship. And he blesses you in exchange. Open your two hands and bless his holy name. And just tell him, tell him something. 
that you are receiving, you are receiving, you are receiving, you are receiving, you are receiving something unusual, something great, something powerful, something amazing, something great. Receive it right now. Everybody, open your hands and receive it. Open your hands and receive it. Peace of mind, good health, success, your finances, your next level. If you are selling, let them buy. Let them buy. Somebody pray. Somebody is receiving from Jehovah. It's your portion. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Somebody receive it. Receive it. Father, remember this young girl by your power. Everything become easy for you. May everything become easy for you. Nothing will be difficult in your life anymore. God will give young girls speed and acceleration. You will go great and go beyond your co equals. May you set forward. May you move forward. In the name of Jesus, Father, I give a praise. Father, thank you. Mister, Mister, no more disappointment and rejection. God is fixing things well on your behalf. Jesus, Father, I pray that whatever that needs to visit you, that needs to come to you, may God surprise you. Sister, this week, next level conference, your package is inside. God will sort you out. Forget about everything you have been through. God is going to remember you. You have been in a season of rejection, but God says he's going to restore you. Father, help your daughter. Help your daughter for good. In Jesus' name, clap your hands to the name of the Lord. <laughs> Father, cover. Mister, put your hand stomach for three times for me. One, two. Aha. Aha. Fire! Aha! 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 Now. Now. Whatever they put over there. Aha! Now! 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 Fire! Right now! Fire! Move on them real quick. Something is happening. Fire! Fire! Right now. Now! Quick! Now! Father God, Jesus, any snake that is eating her womb, the snake needs to die. Oh, look at your amen. amen. Look at your amen. amen. Any snake, now, now, <laughs> go, 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 go. Food you eat that they change into snake, let it leave you. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. I see the snake. It needs to come out. It needs to come out. Yes, right now. This snake comes and eats her every night from 9.40 p.m. going. But today, that's where she's holding right now. It came in food. They fed her. They fed her physically and in dream. But in the name of Jesus, somebody clap and pray. Let's stop it now. Right now. Right now. Go. Somebody pray. Prayer. 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 Prayer, 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 prayer
Get the tissues ready. She's about to vomit because something's supposed to come out from her. Bring the tissue. Bring the tissue. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Jesus. Jesus, Kapala Matia Talabapa, Yapapala Matataya, Vomit, Yapapala Badaba, uh-huh. Now, by the count of three, by the count of three, uh-huh. Anything you put in here, come out. Uh-huh. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus! My God. Oh, Jesus. Hey. The snake. One is coming from Ghana, Nigeria, Benin. Uh-huh. Who knows that very well? Who knows that very well? It's coming from about five different countries. One snake. Ghana, Nigeria, Benin, Sierra Leone, and French um, ivory coast. So spiritually, they have taken, somebody have taken her to Juju in all these five countries. So, uh, and all those places, they bring one snake against her. Who knows her very well? Where does it come from? N- Nigeria. They're from Nigeria. No wonder. So they tried their one also, but it's from five different countries. How many countries did I mention? Ghana, Nigeria. And which one? That's where it's coming from. People have taken her to all these places. And any place they go, they take snake and bring it to her. May the snake eat her up. She's not well, though. This sister, she's not well. Is she your friend? She's not well. It's true. Well, how did you know? She told me this morning. She told you this morning that, that she's, she's sick. not well. Yeah. She's sick. Did she tell you where she's sick from? She didn't tell you. No. She only told you she's sick. Mm. Tell it. When she's there, when the snake is eating with her, it's like somebody's using knife, piercing her. Pa. She feels sick. You're telling them like we are, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are butchering her meat. Hey. What, what, what have you done? What have you done to people? Oh, Jesus. It's okay. You can take it off. It's okay. Has you got child before? No child. I said the snake is eating hot. Her hot. And she has not got any child before. Has she married? For how long? Four years now, Jesus. Because the snake has eaten, is chewing her womb. Jesus. But how many people know that the God of power of worship can work a miracle in her life? Hear me. A prophet assignment is to review and redeem. Look at me. If a prophet can only tell you your problem, it's not a prophet. That's why when we prophesy to you, we give you direction. When you go to hospital and you are sick, the doctor tells you go to blood test. After the checkup, he will tell you to go to the pharmacy so that he will give you the solution. This sister, I'm telling you as a prophet, she will come with her twins. Oh, look at the way you are clapping. Oh, look at the way you are clapping. Listen. 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 We have been in this church and we have seen more than these things. We have seen more than enough. More than enough of these things. This one, God, I'm telling you, she will receive a miracle. Oh, Jesus. Sister, be on your feet. Don't cry. Where's your husband? At home. Where is he also from? Nigeria. Ah. 
So sometimes when you dream, you see snakes around you, serious snakes, and always this side of your body, pain, 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 as if they are using knives to pierce there. You are sick. Yeah, I told your friend. Give me the envelopes. Give me the envelopes. Give me the envelopes. Give me the envelopes. against wickedness. Look wickedness. Come against it. And then my change. Jesus, give me everything. Now, wherever you are, you say, Prophet Daniel, in this service today, 